We're about seven miles north of Belzoni, Mississippi. You simply take Highway 7 north out of Belzoni and go for about seven miles to and watch the signs to Sky Lake Wildlife Management Area. We're going to see some of the largest and oldest bald cypress trees in the world. All right, here we are at the Sky Lake uh, Wildlife Management Area in Belzoni, just north of Belzoni, Mississippi, where some of the biggest bald cypress in the world stands. These are some of the oldest trees in the world and some of the biggest. So they, they made this wildlife refuge so that these, all of these trees would be protected. So come on, we got a long walk so come on, let's go see some of the biggest and oldest trees in the world. Oh yeah, bring your saw. Okay. Now if you come to this wildlife management to Sky Lake, uh, don't expect a big crowd because when we got there we didn't see a soul of all the time that we were there. Okay. And don't bring any money because it's all free. All right, here we go. I really think that this is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever seen. Now that tree right there in front of you is several hundred years old. There's a big damn tree right there. Now the bald cypress not only grows in uh, in swamps where it requires a lot of water, it'll actually grow in different soils. Uh, it'll it'll grow on dry land. It just don't it don't grow as big because uh, in the swamps it don't have as much competition. That moss, Dorothy. The green pollen and stuff that fell on the water turns the water itself green. And with the uh, Spanish moss hanging from the trees, it'd actually be hard to find a, a prettier place. And although this is swamp, I wasn't bothered with mosquitoes for some reason. We're looking at now some small cypress trees, which uh, in a few hundred years will probably probably be grown or look more like this one here. Now there's everything in the world in this swamp, including alligators. This tree here is several hundred years old, and they were really prized for their uh, for the lumber because the lumber hardly ever rotted. Can I tell you this cost them some money to build this walkway through here? As a matter of fact, this walkway cost over a half a million dollars. And if I'd have known that this walkway 
uh, goes almost a half a mile into the swamp, I'd wore some, I'd wore some different kind of shoes. You can look through the trees, you know, and still see the walkway of going. Now here's something unusual we've seen. This is one stump, that's the only stump that I saw while there, that's actually been sawed off. And you take a look at some of the logs here that was cut, they're almost as tall as these men are. And the only way that they could uh, saw these trees, this was in a long time ago, was they took 12 foot cross, cross cut saws with a man on each end of it and they were actually standing in wooden boats. Each one was on each side to saw these logs down. Now this is what they call a steam donkey. And that's uh, once they got the logs on the uh, dry ground, this is what they moved them around with. We're fortunate that these uh, cypress here in this swamp were saved and spared. At least all except for that one there. I just don't understand how they got them out of the swamp. And here we go, we're still walking. This tree right here, what they do is they grow straight and tall for the few, first few hundred years and then they start spreading out at the bottom. And when they're, uh, when they're dying out, they actually die from the inside out. They'll, uh, before they die, they'll all be holler. That tree could easily be six or seven hundred years old, we just looked at it. Here's, here's something else interesting about the cypress. The cypress acts like a water pump. It actually, uh, if you take a cypress tree that's 11 inches in diameter, it actually drinks around 26 gallons of water a day. Now if 11 inch cypress will drink 26 gallon of water a day, just how much do you think that uh, this giant here we're fixed to look at would drink? And also a tree like this, they can actually saw it up and make five or six wooden houses out of it. There's enough lumber in one tree to do that. And here we are, we finally reached the end of our little journey. And this tree right here you're looking at is the oldest one in the swamp. That's the one we come to look at. Although the top is out of it, it still stands 70 feet tall. This tree is estimated because they come and they, they took uh, sample cores out of it to determine the ages of these trees. This tree is estimated to be a little over a thousand years old. Now you wonder why those people are out there standing in the swamp. Well, they're not. Uh, a few years back, this area had the, uh, the longest drought that they'd ever had in 50 years. And the swamp sort of dried up so they could actually come out here. And this, they took advantage of the uh, dry weather in order to build this uh, walkway out here. Around the base of this tree, the circumference is around 40 something feet. Now keep in mind that this water is anywhere from three to five feet deep.
see how these trees when they're die when they're dying they 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 become holler but it still takes several hundred years from to die The Indians loved to build their canoes out of these uh, cypress trees because they'd take about a 24 inch diameter cypress and they would hew uh, their little canoes out of them and that's the reason that uh, those things don't hardly ever rot and sometimes we're still finding those canoes that they used. We actually heard an alligator uh, jumping or flashing around in the water while we was there. You can look back through uh, the trees and see sort of how long this uh, walkway was. And they built this little area here with some benches that you can sit down and rest because you probably need to by the time you get here. I tried to look through these trees to see just how far the swamp went, but uh, I wasn't able to see out of it. They say there's over 770 something acres of swamp here. The one who really pushed this project was uh, the lady at the time who was uh, the first lady of Mississippi, and uh, that was Marshall, 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 uh, Barber, Haley Barber's wife. I'm still surprised about the mosquitoes. They didn't bother us at all. I, don't, I can't promise that, you know, I can't promise that all the time, but I didn't have any problems with them. This is absolutely a beautiful place, and uh, they built a walkway. You can see how you can see how long that walkway is. Uh, so it just keeps on going. So don't if you if you're not able to walk, get a wheelchair and let somebody push you. But I'm telling you, you won't see any more beautiful spot on earth probably. If you like swamps, this is it. 